Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about linked list. Like array, linked list is the another way to store the data. So before we move to the linked list in detail, we first understand why linked list and what is the problem with array data structure. All right. Okay, let's take this int i equal to eight. If you are defining a variable like this, compiler will assign four byte space in computer memory. Let's take an integer array. For example, if you are declaring a array like this, a of four equal to one, three, eight, and twelve. This array contains four integer values. As we know that system allocate four into four, which is sixteen byte for this array. Let's take one will be stored here, and three will be stored here, and sequentially eight and twelve. Stored in this location. If you want to add another integer value within this array, it is not possible, right? Because when you are defining array, system allocates memory for your array based on the size which is you have defined. In this case, system allocate sixteen bytes. If we really want to add some more elements in this array, system should allocate corresponding memory for this integer array and shift the existing values to the new locations. Note that. This shifting process is costly while we consider about complexity. This is what we did in array implementation video for inserting element in array. Here, the another problem is if we want to remove one element from array, we could not clean up the space for value which is we wanted to delete the value since system allocated this much space for our integer array in memory while creating the array. And another thing is. Assume that we are declaring array with size of ten. And we have added only two elements. See here, still we have some extra spaces. We define the array with ten elements, but We have added only two elements in this array. In this case, ten into four, which is forty bytes, already allocated for this array. So system will not use this memory for other operations because it's reserved for this array. So how we can solve this problem? That's the reason we came for linked list. Now we will take this same list of integer values. And store it in memory by using linked list. Assume that this is computer memory. Let's take this first element one. If we try to add one, it will store somewhere here. And for the second element three, system will assign some other space in memory, but not sequentially, somewhere here. Okay. Similarly, system assign some location for eight and twelve, like this. So, like arrays, linked list is a linear data structure. Unlike arrays, linked list elements are not stored at continuous location. The elements are linked using pointers. That means linked list uses some additional information while storing the actual data. That is called a reference or pointer, which means While storing the element along with the element, it stores address of the next element. We can call it as reference in Java and pointers in C language. So, this one pointing to this and this one pointing to this element. Linked list uses node to store the data. Node is nothing but just type. So, single element of list object or type. Contain two content within it. One is actual data, and another one is node, which is pointing to the next element. Let me explain this in diagram. If we add first element in this list, in our case, I am storing the value one here, and this second part of the node is initially pointing to null, because at this stage we don't have next node to point to it. If we add second element in this list, that will be stored to this node, and 
first node references pointing to second node like this like this way if we add third element second element references pointing to third element so like this way third one pointing to fourth one in linked list there is only one head node so when we declare linked list we won't define with size by this way we can avoid the problem we are facing with an array there are three types of linked list are available single linked list double linked list and circular linked list we will discuss about this in few minutes